Hi, this is Jay from Gamerphil, showing you how a Blood Bowl game can go horribly wrong. We return once again to the necromantic team The Woeful, this time versus The Witch's Fury, a Dark Elf team, and already we can see the opening ploy in what's going to be the first touchdown of The Witch's Fury. At the moment, The Woeful in the lead, but this is not going to last. Dark Elves are both fast and, with their Witch Elf Blitzers, very vicious. And already we see some evidence of this. We have already lost one player, Rock Coffin, no injury, although the star player, or the Elven team, Eldril Sideways, has also gone down. But it's not going to matter because the mobility of the Dark Elves team is about to be showcased. Not sure if it's this round or next one. But here we go. Right. <coughs> Grolak the Growler completely ineffective against the Dark Elven Witch Elves. Witch Elves being the High Priestesses of the rather depraved Dark Elf race. And they're probably in it for the violence and kicks. And Kuti the Mouldering also showing that the Dark Elves are quite tough. coach and the team itself have no idea what to do. That's a pretty solid cage right there. Oh, a very good dodge by the second werewolf of the team, Gorlog Whitemane. A fair block there. And a very poor choice by Stone Chewer, the star runner of the Woeful. You can already see the Dark Elves clearing out a space for their runner. But unnoticed by the rest of the Woeful team is this runner here, this linesman, who earlier creeped through the line. And it's a perfect pass. See that in slow motion as... Touchdown! Notice that maniacal vaudeville and laughter that is signature of the Dark Elf team. And wow, that is a graphic glitch and a half. He literally glided to the touchdown line. That's our injury side. Oops. And there's Eldril sideways there, looking very fine sideways. Now luckily these next two turns are a little tense, but obviously there's no chance for a touchdown right now. Not with the woeful receiving. If it had been the Dark Elves, which is Fury receiving, then there might have been a one-turn touchdown, but thankfully not. After all, this match is embarrassing enough for the Woeful as it is. So if there's going to be any cuts in this video, this is where it's going to be cut. Trying to close them in, trying to cause a bit of damage, but they really don't know whether they should risk attacking that strong wall. And indeed, the equally strong player behind it. What exactly happened? 
then? Well, I visited Dark Side Cowboys for a friendly match and never returned. Of course not. Still deciding when to take that risk. Instead, they decide to go for a different risk. They decide to go for the Witch Elf. No, no, wait, yes. Yes! Stone Chewer blitzes. And Finoles is stunned. Not yet out of it, but at, a ma at this rate, it's only a matter of time. back up. She's a glutton for punishment. She's a glutton for punishing. She's a glutton for everything. And, oh, Cootie the Moldering is in deep trouble there as that defensive, offensive wall just closes in on him. pushing their way outwards, they're pushing so that they have a clear line through the centre. Or at least that's their game plan at the moment. The other thing about Dark Elves, their game plans are very fluid, very subject to change due to the fact that they are excellent runners. And once again they're going after Finoles. She's dodging, but she's dodged right into... Uh, he's deciding whether to use the blitz. There's only one blitz per turn, so you've got to use it very carefully. And watching this, not really sure they had the right one. Oh! And they've already used a reroll now. Knocked one. The defensive wall is broken, but will it matter? They are dangerously close to the line. They are dangerously close to the halfway line for such a speedy team. And they're still... Oh, no, he's deciding to try and block. Or maybe knock down. There we go. Oh! And a perfect dump off there. Dump off the ability that when you're being tackled, you can pass. And it doesn't actually end your turn if you're failing to pass the ball. So the ball has moved even closer to the line. It's a little dangerous at the moment. But Finoles, it looks like Finoles is about to... Oh yes, she comes out of the match. But she is also no long-term injury, just badly bruised. And here is where it all starts to fall apart for the Woeful. As the Dark Elves use their superior dodging abilities. And injuries are being tra- Oh! As unknown no eyes goes down. Thankfully not out, but definitely down, and oh! Late blanket, definitely off for now, he's on the substitution bench, but that's left them clear with a possibility of passing, we shall have to see. Oh, and they waste that going for it, possibly to try and protect themselves some more. It's not really worked. And the countdown is currently at three, just so you know. Four rounds till the end of the match, but three rounds till the actual end of the match. A 
Once again, they're going for the ball carrier. But the ball carrier is merely pushed. Will the frenzy help? Yes, it will. Oh, wait. No, failure in catching. Moldering, who has the ball, has had the ball as he now leaves the pitch in a state of injury. And the Witch's Fury must have made a failed dodge, yes, to try and catch the ball. There's Conrad the Usurper attempting to thin out the numbers some more. think they've got a chance, the Woeful, to keep the ball. But no, it ends up in the worst possible place, with all the odds stacked for the Dark Elf players. As one makes a masterful dodge, that's Terra Hackelf. Terra Hackels literally sprinting down the pitch, and there's his backup, there's his backup, who, who is that? We don't know yet. Ferrioth is further back up, and you can already see that both of the frontal tackle zones are sorted. I'm pointing at the screen, I have no idea why I'm pointing at the screen, because you're not going to be able to see it, but still, the countdown is now one, one round, until the final humiliation. As Grolek the Growler tries to get a little tackle in, he's there, but it's not going to matter. He's one man. One man can be quite easily dodged by a Dark Elf team. That's if the Dark Elves don't decide to beat the tar out of him. And we've got some more back up there, but will it be enough? I don't think it will. I really don't think it will. Still thinning numbers, still trying to cause an injury. But they know they've lost the game. All they're trying to do now is thin out the players, get them wounded, so that in future games they won't be as fast or strong. And it's all for nothing as they make an insulting central touchdown. This has been Jay from Gamerphil, wishing you all a good week. Take care.